And welcome back to Grumble Plays, a new Let's Play series now in its second season. Episodes coming out every Sunday on early access for patrons and supporters. And now, if you've just wandered in off anywhere on the internet, live for everyone. We're playing Dishonored 2, and this is our second to last episode, Mission 8, The Grand Palace. Tonight, we're going to try and depose Duke Luca Bell. We've received some interesting hints over the past few missions that perhaps we have more friends at the Ducal Palace than we originally thought. Also, I'm wearing the wrong sweater. It's fine. You've eliminated most of Duke Luca Abel's key accomplices. Talk to your allies about the Duke before departing for the Grand Callus. Grand Callus, Grand Palace. <laughs> That's making the blooper real. Duke Luca Abel tore down the original palace in Karnaka, his birthplace, in order to build a lavish structure that cost enough to feed everyone in Circonos for years. It's said to be a sprawling estate to humble all others, a monument to his ego and sense of princely entitlement. But whatever the Duke has done to his nation happened while I was Empress. In Dunwall, we were content to look the other way as long as the silver kept flowing. I've got to get inside the Grand Palace, deal with the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. You should be at peace. I will stay too long. Find a last spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't understand. You will very soon. Thanks, ghostly apparition of my mother. I love how in like in the intro. I mean, of course, it's you know, Duke Luca is not just Delilah's pawn. You know, he's also uh, a terribly cruel and selfish ruler uh, in his own right. Um, but I love how, like, it's sort of tacked on in the end. Oh yeah, and we also have to steal Delilah's soul, just, you know, in case we forget to put that on the, on the shopping list. But, uh, yeah. Oh my goodness me. So we have several more souvenirs, such as... Um, the silver graph that someone took of Megan and Emily in the skiff approaching Camposeta Docks. Uh, and then here we have the calendar that we got from Aramis Stilton's house three years ago. Let's see what the travelogue has to say. Dust district. I can't find the words to describe the misery here and the grit in the air. I've been coughing for an hour straight and my mind feels cloudy. I mean, you'll see when, you know, uh, when that episode rolls around, it's just like, I. it's not just the dust, but there's like legit uh, debris on the wind there. Like, Emily nearly got like whacked in the face by a piece of wood when I was playing. I was like, okay. I got rid of Paolo, the leader of the Howlers. He brought only fear and trickery. And that goes for Vice Overseer Liam Byrne as well. His intolerance, his personal ambition. Could any of us live up to the expectations the Overseers demand? Whoever ends up ruling over Kanaka, it won't be a gang of cutthroats, nor will it be the Abbey. Now I need to make sure it won't be Duke Luca Abel either. So apparently, you know, because we changed the Dust District irrevocably. Um, by preventing Aramis Stilton from participating in the ritual to bring back Delilah from the void. Um, but in some shape or form, Paolo and Byrne still would have been there. Or perhaps Emily is the only one who actually remembers because, you know, she did it. And maybe there's someone else. Who knows? 
Today I saw the effects of the void leaking into Aramis Stilton's house through cracks in reality. I was able to see the past and the present simultaneously. So we figured out what happened during that seance. Now we just gotta come up with a plan. And by saving Stilton, we also saved um, Megan from having to go up against the Grand Guard that night. Hi, white men. Sorry about the secrecy, but it's better that you're safe and morally. Let's see. Nope. My patient left. Let's check the engine room. There's no errands, not done. Nope, we're fine. As always. Oh no, wait, they're up on deck, aren't they? Hmm. Snooping downstairs first. Then. And sucking the marrow out of the same people who built it. Yes, I regret my affiliation with the young Joker, but his father and I were close. It was my hope that Luca would eventually grow up and learn that his actions as ruler of Sirkonos have very real consequences. <laughs> he could always count on the backing of Dunwall's finances and navy. Maybe without that, he would have developed a healthy respect for the people. Sir Konos. Fear of the executioner's block has been a fine motivator for many a ruler. Once the Duke falls, it's my hope that we can build something better here. Something more representative and inclusive. I mean, it's just it's on brand for Aramis to to blame himself. When, yeah, like, if anyone was propping up the Duke, it wasn't him, it was us. So... Duke Abel spared no expense on his new palace. It's tacky if you ask me. <laughs> Byrne wanted to be High Overseer. A gangster could never be trusted to run a city. I wonder what Aramis Stilton can accomplish now that things are... different. I mean... He pretty much has got... Luca, maybe not by the throat, but he is causing him so many headaches. And I'm here for that, honestly. What the heck is this? Do I even want to know? for diary entry from Sokolov, apparently. Now 
are going after the one who started it all. The Duke himself. I forgot the thrill of it. Planning drop-off points. Picking the approach. Thinking about the best ways to kill somebody who lives behind high walls. But with the excitement, there's a black echo that comes back to me for what I did at Dunwall Tower. If anyone deserves killing, though, it's Duke Luca Abel. I've loved a number of women, and even a couple of men. But I've never loved anyone like my Deirdre. After I left home, those first years on the streets, she's all that kept me from the bottom of the river. I could sleep on a pile of garbage under a leaky awning as long as she was there with me. Sharing a tin of potted meat or a bottle of brandy. We nicked during the day. The Duke and his little brother came through Dunwall. And Deirdre and I got in their way as they stepped out of their fancy coach. The Duke goaded his brother, calling us wharf roaches. And it was the brother who swung the stick that killed her. Splitting her skull, there were wooden gazelles on top of the coach. And I snapped one off and drove it into his eye as deep as it would go. Deirdre was already gone. Dead as a doornail. Lying in the muck and staring up at the great Dunwall sky. On the run after that. I was hunted by the City Watch and even members of the Grand Guard up from Zirkonos. People looked at me like I was cursed, spitting whenever I got close. Everyone knew I'd bring trouble. Even the gangs. The Duke's brother has been dead for a long time. But now was my chance to get back at Luca Abel for setting him off against pretty, young Deirdre. Nothing was the same for me after they took her away. And no one would take her in. Apart from one. for this I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions and they're the same everywhere the Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons getting inside might not be the hard part the Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle you've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah you were cryptic about what you glean from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that may be useful. There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's keeping anything precious for Delilah, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, good hunting. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile, and I've got a lot to think about after all this is done. I'm so glad Stilton is here with us. He's such a cool guy. How 
pretty. I hope I've been of some help to you. It's good to feel useful here near the end of my time. Look at you. In a lifetime, how many monarchs have done half of what you have in a month? I hear the Duke's wine cellar is exquisite, if you happen to pass through. I remember telling you stories at the Hound Pits pub so long ago. How you've changed. Huh? It's just me, Aramis. It's not widely known, but the Duke has a body double. <gasps> the man is the spitting image of Luca. Well, sorry, Aramis, but well. <sighs> To be fair, after the timeline reset you had, I'd be tired too. <gasps> Are you okay? Well. Yeah. Okay. A likable fellow and quite humble. I've no idea what they found him, but the Duke's double has spent years passing for the Duke. I suppose Luca always hoped his double would be there to take an assassin's bullet. Take care. I hope to see you again. Well, if you're still here when I get back, then yes, you will. But yeah, for sure. I'll definitely... We gotta visit Aramis again. Things have calmed down a little bit. Should we head toward the palace? So formal. Yes. All right, let's go. <sighs> the Grand Palace. Self-serving and corrupt, Duke Luca Abel ruled Sokonos and orchestrated the coup against you. Enter the Grand Palace to find and eliminate the Duke who protects himself from assassins with a body double. You must also locate Delilah's spirit, the only means of counteracting her immortality. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker. If that helps. Maybe it you does. can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job. Pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crap. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me. Stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Sorry if I sound bitter. Don't turn your back on the Duke. After we leave Karnaka, there are some things we need to talk about. Things I feel remorse over. I know not everyone who lives in a great palace is a snake. But it's real easy to get accustomed to eating off silver plates. If you figure out which one is the Duke's double, you might want to see what he knows. You wouldn't believe it. But I could have ended the Duke a long, long time ago. Wish I had now. If something happens and you don't make it back, I might have a go at Duke Abel. When this is done, we leave Karnaka at once. I won't be sorry to leave this city. 
I've done all I can here. I've earned what I've got, even the scars. Especially the scars. Take care of yourself. We'll be there when you're ready. Stuff. Secrets. Angelfish scales. Maybe right for only to come and uh, pick it up. What's the delay getting it to the shop? Better you afraid we'll get caught? The guy that runs the shop is nervous. But if they just let us move it straight off the boat. Now, I got a friend over at the shop. Been running protection for black market shops for years here in Karnaka and over at Colorado. So there's basically no risk. What's your friend's name? Uh-uh. That's a secret. These guys deal with me and nobody else. Job security. Here's a thing. Oh, please don't drown. Thank you. So here's a thing. If you just leave that stuff here, then the Grand Guards are gonna show up and take it. And then you gotta. Oh, well, don't sit on the crate, Emily. And then you gotta try. Steal it back from them. Well, M, if that makes you happy. Boop. Ooh, achievement just popped. Well funded. I think. I think. Well, I I looked at the achievements list yesterday just to get the lay of the land. And I think that means that you found like sixty percent of what's hidden. still need the key. <sighs> so at least we now won't have to steal this. From the Grand Guard. But there is... <sighs> some more stuff. That we don't want them to get. in and pay them a visit just because they also have other stuff but we're taking the long way around Hey, you. You seem different. 
Can you help me out with a bit of coin? Of course. You're a good one. You know, there's a place near here, in some rocks behind a fountain. People have always left offerings there. That's where I started having those odd dreams. I don't go there anymore, but you might want to check it out. I used to have such visions. Dreams of black oceans and whales in the sky overhead. Sorcery, they said. They burned my books and they hit me in the head until there were no more visions. I used to live here a long time ago. Can you believe it? I was a songwriter. A poet. Tigan woman who stooped yesterday to give him a coin. I've already told you about this man. It's so lovely. You know, you can always trust in the heart. See you sometime. See ya. To, uh,. So that's a shrine. There's a bone charm up there. And then some more. There's no such permit, Captain. I know the laws in Tarnaka. Laws change. The Duke's given the Grand Guard leeway to create new fees when needed. You know who else had a nice shop? That clockmaker, Count Serafina. Her shop burned down. Yeah, my report said it was probably the Howard. But no one knows how the fire started. Captain, her brother died in that fire. Sleep inside drunk from what I remember. You've got until tomorrow to pay up. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, the guards are such a joy. Aren't ya? Martha, won't you marry me? Twelve weeks have I been at sea. Chasing monsters in the brine. Dancing hagfish on the line. Martha, won't you marry me? Twelve weeks have I been at sea. Body? Here? <laughs> Shopkeeper's not happy about that, but... Let's see, just out of sight of the watchtower, which is good for us. Sir, everything's all right. Yeah, see? Everything's just fine. Let's see. Sir, I'm terribly sorry. But it's better if you come with me. Don't worry. Tell you what, just for that, I won't empty out your cash register. Of course, it's your apartment that they seized, isn't it? Yeah.
Watch Tower. See me there. I've been spotted. Nope. Watchtower does not count as a sentient enemy. Good to know. <laughs> wow, that thing has reach. Oofed. I only picked up that dude. I'm, defi I'm definitely not gonna go for the other one. Okay, but it doesn't seem like... Guards made their way over here, so that barely counted. We're fine. All right. Which one might you be? <gasps> this game is spoiling me today. Or well, this weekend. Because if you'll remember, last episode. Where is it? We finally got strong arms! <sighs> Praise be, etc, etc. Pretend I ain't even here. Remember to close the gate behind you after each delivery. If you need the code, speak to me directly or Carlos Morletto at Winslow Safe Company next door. Did I get the combination from you? Or did I forget to pick it up? <gasps> Fine. Sir, I will have to open your register, but I promise, you know, in compensation for breaking that glass, I will not be taking any money. Also, I'm hopefully not stepping on your face right now. Thanks, sir. the cigars tomorrow you want to buy one so it's a little bit of a circuitous route if i remember correctly hmm. <laughs> all right tell you what before that silly watchtower sees me again People here are just keen on charity now that Todd see you sometime. <laughs> Didn't even let him finish. Sorry, sir. Alrighty. Now. Easy does it. Always remember, stay behind the big tree. Because then the watchtower can't see you. And there's my favorite sound cue in the whole level. Please don't be angry and hear me out. I know it's you who's been coming to my apartment to straighten up. I'm sure you mean well, but please stop. Anyway, I've made up my mind to move to the dust district. That way, I can be closer to those I'm helping. For other reasons, too, that I won't mention now because of how it might upset you. Anyway, it's unlikely I'll ever return to the palace district. I'll have someone sell my apartment here along with the furniture. I know this isn't what you wanted from me, but it's who I am. And don't waste any more of your time matchmaking. I do not wish to marry. None of this is meant to make you feel badly. Please try to understand. All my love, Lucia. 
So the Sia Pastor came from money, decided to marry poor, not poor Lee, just poor, and uh, her family was not happy about it. So going to a fled bread. Don't mind if I do. Strong lungs. Hmm. That one will come in handy. At the palace. Just the ones. Can I close that? Yep. Okay, is there anything over there? Yes, a pearl fan. Am I going to risk my life for a pearl fan? Yes, I am. So pretty. Robbery, something, something. I never really listen to them. I just knock them out. Out. Oh well. All right, you three, don't die. Very broken table. Yeah. I think they would have like had a whoop, had a clue for me. Anything down there I can nick? Slid onto the chair. That's talent. Alright, so where does one go next?
Vandalism. Silver snuff box. Well, oof, 150 coin. Don't mind if I do. I guess. And banana. Oh, it's Petronella. Of course. <gasps> the outsider walks among us. Here at the Silver Spike, among our many offenses against the Duke's endless decrees, you can add another. Your dear editor counts among his friends several citizens well informed on occult matters. As such, I can share this with you. The outsider is not likely to be forgotten here in the southern capital. Many of the shrines built to honor him have been disturbed of late as if recently visited. That figure of myth apparently walks among us gathering up offerings. Some leave rune carved tokens of bone in the abandoned corners of Karnaka, and others interested in such matter report that, yes, those tokens are gone a night later. Trust your senses. Do you not taste him in the withered, sickly crabs you boil for dinner? Can you hear his voice in the hum of bloodfly wings? What else could explain our current plight here in Karnaka? Murder in the streets and firing squads as a response. Such times. Believe me when I tell you, my fingers tremble as I scribble these truths, but I am willing to continue on for your benefit. Do not be seen reading this printing of the silver spike. Burn it as soon as you're done, and eat the very paper should you see an overseer approaching. That, especially that last paragraph, has huge welcome to Night Vale energy. Cecil would be so proud. Petronella, is that all you got? Alright. Time to face the music, literally. Musicians. Hello. Next time. Instead, I get a howler ambush. Poop. And who might it be? Takes these offerings. Hmm. Hmm. Let's have a chat. Here you are, back among your own people, the palace born, and those who curry their favor. Are you feeling more comfortable, Majesty? Are these the people you want running a quarter of your empire? No? It never seemed to bother you before. Maybe it looks different up close. Maybe here it's harder to ignore the way the people outside the palace get through the day. In any case, I know what you're after. The heart you carry can only hold one spirit at a time. So, if 
If you want to walk out with a piece of Delilah, you better be ready to leave something behind. I mean, in principle, he's completely right. But it's a bit rich from the guy who can see, like, all possible futures and, you know... Instead of warning some people that something bad might happen. But, you know. Then again, as is the way with prophecies, I mean, what if he told Corvo that, hey, someone's coming to kill Jasmine, and then whatever Corvo would have done would have likely just put them right into a different trap. That's how it usually goes. Hey, open up. I got the code, but it's back on the boat. No exceptions. Either you have the code, or I assume something's off my boss's orders. Didn't open the store. You know I will do this. You're wasting time. Okay, so I knock her out here and that somehow explodes all the ether bubbles and oh, okay, okay, that's, I guess that's fine. <laughs> my, my, the room to, uh, the door to the living room is like right there and the cat went to, uh, <laughs> went to get some food and she just like <laughs> showed up in the den like looking through like the slightly ajar door just looking at me like what the f fuck's wrong now sorry cat hi i know that was a deranged cackle it's fine it's fine oh my god i mean lots of saves thank god but pff. okay i guess i'll try that again There's a howler, so how did that howler not even look okay. yesterday? Was quite a night at the palace. Yeah, well, the howler sure isn't talkative. All right, here's the combination for the alley gate that's over there. Don't forget the password either, or I won't open the back door. Next time, dock your boat in a different place. You've started to attract unwanted attention. The Grand Guard have doubled their patrols since the Duke's last decree, so we've got to be careful. Yep. I mean, apparently, my incredibly strong shoulders just clipped through everything. Well, Grumble, if you just had Shadow Walk, then you could have been through here already. Yeah, well. I'm um, like, no one's been haranguing me about that in the comments. I just like to. to check in lore 926 
I just like to make fun of myself for my leveling choices. I mean, I got a couple of runes now. I have three. Give me luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. somewhere. <sighs> Alright, sir, no time. People hate see you sometimes. Yep. Sometimes you can catch the guards as they go and try to get stuff, but I don't think they've been through. And I didn't want to expend a stun mine. Yeah, they killed him. Gonna check my stats for a second. Oh, for. <clears throat> That's what happens. The guards kill them, and it ends up on my sheet. Should have hidden them better. So maybe if I just go back, I'm just thinking like, can I, can I hop back here? Maybe. And maybe if I'm lucky. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, lads. I am going to save you. Hopefully that'll do if they can't find them. Always close the door again. That's what the instructions said. See, see, I told you. It happened again. I can hear it crashing. Huh? Uh, what? Will I? Oh god. Someone! Anyone! Oh god. Oh god. How did that? Okay, please, please stop smashing your own shit. Okay, that definitely wasn't me. But he's fine. <laughs> well, you know what? I I I'm done questioning. I'm just gonna everyone still be alive god damn it this is this is genuinely annoying I'm just gonna have to reload the entire thing right now Restart mission. Yay! Take care of yourself. We'll be there when you're ready. All right. Take two. I'll spare you the whole of it. Um, I'll just go through and get all the stuff. And then pick up again where we were. Call it the black market. You can't just sit now. Too much chance a grand guard catches on to us, or maybe rightful owners coming to pick it up. What's the delay getting it to the shop? Better you afraid we'll get caught? The guy that runs the shop is nervous. But if they just let us move it straight off the boat. Now, I got a friend over at the shop. 
been running protection for black market shops for years here in Karnaka and over the car. So there's basically no risk. What's your friend's name? Uh, that's a secret. These guys deal with me and nobody else. Job security. You starting your shit around here? We're jumping in. Of course. Just in case. And then, star wipe. All right, so, after a star wipe or whatever hideous contraption, uh, I've just been at the shrine. I've averted the howler uh, ambush. I've knocked out the guys and the guards, or the guy and the guards, uh, who were probably having some nefarious plans uh, in the building where Lucia Pastor used to live. Um, and yeah, now there's one more howler in there. I'm gonna have to try and get out to tell you what. Let's see, I don't think because like the shopkeeper wasn't affected by that, so I don't think that counts spot a dozen by an enemy. No, it doesn't. So, we'll be absolutely grand. We'll be absolutely grand. Now, there is... There we go. Trip wires. One, possibly two? No, just the one, but with the double charge. Oh, well. Correctly. Two thousand years later. He's not the smartest card in the deck, but, you know, no one ever asked him to be. Games. Nice. And I don't even know. Smart? I'll find you. I don't even know where you are. Hello? Anybody? Don't make me search the whole place. I don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah, should adjust. Okay, there's the nest keeper. Gotta pay them a visit what? too. That's where she was. Okay. Oh, was she downstairs? I'm. Uh, I am so confused by the audio cues right now. I do have. Not in the mood. What? Yourself. what is going on? Uh oh. I'll find you. You know. Where are you hiding? Come on, let's 
Let's have a fair fight. <clears throat> Did that. We'll get them. <clears throat> what is going on with you two? Why are you Think like this? Smart? I'll find you. <laughs> uh oh. Please don't. Please don't be dead. Please don't be dead. Thank you. Alrighty. I was. I mean. I. Like I said, I do have the game set to headphones, but I was so confused with the audio cues just then. I don't I didn't know whether they were well, that was rude. Um whether they were upstairs or down the stairs. I could honestly could not tell. Watchtower, we want to keep away from that. Okay, so that was much more chaotic than it needed to be, but. Second of realizing, oh, something's wrong, and then. Alright, that's not the watchtower. That's the wall of light? Yeah, okay. Not that we desperately need that turned off, but. No, nothing, huh? Okay. Oop. Oop. Just so I can move around a little. A little bit more freely. Yeah, um, but absolutely nothing, um, okay. See, our incendiary radius is fine. And I'm going to quick save because that guy in there is not nice. Nope. Yeah, see, with a bigger radius, it would have gotten that one. But we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Okay, I'm gonna wait until that guy does another rotation because it's easier to get him from the back. Shambling, shambling. There he goes again.
dart retrieved. Lovely. Okay. Because this guy has some uh... one he's got a rune and two he's got some some interesting collectibles. Let's call it. And the parabola of lost seasons. Buddy, how did you end up here? I stole you at Bunting's, and that was 15 years ago. Well. Letter from an admirer of Dowd. Dear Alfred, I received the book, a good find. Oh god. But I must admit I have my doubts regarding the historical value of the work. The knife of Dunwall, feeling remorse about killing the tyrant Jessamine? As I write, I'm staring at his portrait, and I suspect that Dowd always knew destiny was guiding his hand, firm and unforgiving. Anyway, the book was an entertaining read, so thank you again. Keep sending me all the information you can about this mysterious figure we both admire. Your friend, your, your friend, Claudio. Now here's the thing. We remember that one. Here's the thing, right? If Dowd knew that this guy was, you know, collecting stuff about him and, uh, you know, calling Jasmine a tyrant, I mean, not, where did he get that? Like, was he also, I don't know, a regenter or something? Claudio, what the fuck? Like, there's a reason Doubt felt remorse after killing her. Ugh. Oh well. He's super duper asleep now. So, what if? Alright, so we've been everywhere along the road except for the apartment of the shopkeeper. Uh. My recording software crapped out for a bit without me noticing. Um, you didn't miss much. I knocked out the nest keeper and um, choked out this guard, two civilians, and well, two other guards were dominoed to that one just so that I might have a slightly easier time getting around. So I'm just gonna... Whoopsie. Deposit the two of you here. Boop. kids. Good thing we have the key. Was there anybody in there? I don't recall there being anybody. No. We're fine. Grave. What was that one again? Something with Gravehounds? Oh, slight chance that Gravehounds are destroyed upon spawning. Well, since I don't plan on waking them up. We're fighting them. Not one that we desperately need. 
Sir, so many bathing salts. And a cigarette box. Well, that says combustion, so not something I need today. One, two, three. Oh, honey. always something ridiculously easy. Right, so now we've been in here. Now all that remains is a trip to the black market shop. Can't go down there because there's still at least one guard patrolling. It might even just be the one, but after taking out nearly everybody else. I'm not taking the risk. Checking my stats, no one's dead. Good. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Sorry, man. He's gotta be right confused. It's like you were here earlier. Uh, I don't, don't bet it on the baby. Alright. You open again? Yeah, you're fine. Anyway. Sir Conan wine is better than Tivian prisons. And better Crystallian clap than Morellian gout. Alright. I I don't want the clap at all, honestly. letting me noodle around in here. Let's see. You could think my father was the official milliner at the palace and his father before him. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, dude. So we're gonna go buy stuff first. And then we are going to rob him. Please take a look around. Hiya. I'm clearing the stock and leaving the city. Ah, that's why I have so few things back there. I uh, don't need any of that, but it's good to have. Okay, we're fine. A deal well made. Let's get... How many do you get when you steal? Do you get two? Very I don't know. Good. There'll be more at the palace. Disabled carriage rails. An engineer on the take will shut off the electricity on the carriage rails, allowing passage through the wall of light and easier access to the Grand <clears throat> Palace. Wow. Come back soon. If I'm still around. Oh, I bet you will be. Because it'll be approximately. Whoops. Well, let's call it 10 seconds till I'm back. getting zero. Maybe it only works if I pay for it. Oh well.
I think there's also... I think the shopkeeper's equipment actually has a little balcony, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yeah, 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 you can, you can get back through there. But now, you can also get over those carriage rails. Which is quite handy. Ah. Without burn into a crisp. Miss that, buddy. Two more months, she says. Then she'll leave him. I can wait. Once they say something's amiss, well, then I just can't get comfortable. Well, you're a guard. You're not supposed to be comfortable. If I understand the job description correctly. Oof. Thank you, that's mine now. Oh yeah, we've read about that ceremony. All right, well, there's a lot more to do inside that place. So I think I will pause here for now and pick up the recording at another time. See you then. Hi everybody, I'm back. Uh, it took a couple of days to get back into recording uh, cause work was really busy uh, and I've been really sleepy. But here we are, back for part two uh, of my recording of the Grand Palace mission. Um, as you'll see, uh, and as you will have seen if you caught uh, recent streams, new camera angle. Um, I've been noodling with my desk set up a little bit and I really like this better. Um, so yeah what else has changed i've got a couple got a couple more new lights everywhere just to make it cozy um there are adaptive lights uh behind my monitor now um so they change color uh with what's on screen which is really nice um do let me know whether the effects are a little bit too strong like because it'll mainly be reflected on my face but you know if it's a little flickery or something let me know and then i can uh, change the intensity. He did indeed. Although, I don't know, I find... Maybe it's just me, but I think this gives Luca too much credit. Like, self-serving and corrupt, Duke Luca Abel ruled Sokonos and orchestrated the coup against you? It's like, no, the orchestration was all Delilah. Like, I doubt that he came up with all of that. Right? Some reeds, lovely. Right, just checking. You're not dead, are you? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I went back to get capture, and that's why the HUD is off. Hmm. Ah. No, we don't need tutorial stuff, but I do need my things. There we go. Alright. Fascinating stuff. Ooh, look at that across the bay. You can see the... You can see Batista over there. <gasps> Birds. 
second board. Okay. Now there's two ways to slice this. I miss swimming. That was good, you know. Some of us used to give lessons at Oh. Where did the subtitles go? There they are. Adamire. Back when it was over the public. Open city in those days. Didn't know that. Man, you sure had a lot of different jobs. Guess so. I don't miss grinding hagfish. Hands in salt all day, nails bleeding, choking on the factory air. At least when you joined the Grand Guard, you got a really soft position near the palace. You might change your mind about that after you've been here a while. Sometimes the Duke's friends do some strange shit. Really? Like what? Someone up there decided it'd be funny to throw down food at us. I got hit in the face with a pineapple. Then a whole roasted pig came down and split the boat in half. It was raining apples and meat pies. All sorts of nice food floating around in the water. Damn, people in the city starving. Life's just not the same when you live up there, is it? The way he's walking around behind him always makes you think, okay, he's gonna, like, take out his sword and stab him in a second, isn't he? But no. Just a sinister way of walking and talking. Anyway, so we don't go to swim. Because we had the carriage rails. Unelectrified. Therefore, that's a lovely noise, isn't it? Okay, do stay on the thing, Emily. We don't want you falling off. mom and she just poof there it is no need looking kid I can see with my heart well let's get up there no not at all but how do you know which one is the duke I don't know where they found that guy with the political decoy job but he looks and acts just like the duke I can't tell him apart there are subtle differences. All right. Assuming you can pick out Duke Luca, how are we going to get his key? You leave that to me. Who knows what he's got in that vault? We'll be halfway to Gristal and rich before he's nursing the next day's hangover. I know what he's got in that vault. It's a good plan the way this place is run. You sure he always keeps the key with him? I'm sure. We'll do it tomorrow night when there's only one squad scheduled for patrol. Just be ready. Alrighty. Well, it's a good plan. I'm sorry that I'm gonna have to... Maybe I should just work a double shift. You should look into that I cough, lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The palace. Nope. Maybe I can find another way to neutralize the Duke. Mm -hmm. Let's absolutely try. Boop. As long as it's not me, I don't care. It's never any fun. I'm not sure it's worse the Duke or his body double. One's half likely to have you flogged for looking at him wrong. The other might just bore you to death. Listening to them is, well, occasionally irritating, but boop, a good idea when you need to figure out who's who. Alright. 
So, where are they today? Because there's different, there's different places where they can be. I think Luca is either in the garden or in his office. Um, and the double, well he, the double is sometimes in the throne room and sometimes in Delilah's quarters. the elevator which we apparently cannot bring crashing down such a pity oh well Don't fall off. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my vertigo. Oh, my vertigo. I mean, to be fair. It's lovely just sitting up here. That trawler's getting a thin. Okay, that one's on its way out. That be. Anyway. Oh, I wonder. Can I get you and not get detected is the question. Okay, that's too close to here. I gotta, gotta let him let him walk a little bit. Seems the Duke has some of the Jindosh Clockwork soldiers. Oh, he sure does. Okay, let's go, buddy. Double smokes. <laughs> oh, the music is like up on the scale like some prize bull each week, told to gain a pound mm. or two to keep up with the good duke. Mm. Isn't it dinner time yet? Make it starve on this ship. <clears throat> okay, that was not behind me. Because there's not a guard with him. <laughs> the violin's being like, Rawr. He takes credit for my paintings and laughs with his friends at how bad mine are. Bastard. Well, look, buddy. I mean, this is a gift, really. Just gonna. Ow. Need his key. When I first met with my inner oh. circle, I saw nervous faces. 
Even the boldest were afraid, wondering if we'd live to see another feast. Now Zirconis is ascendant, but this is a story that began long years before. I knew Delilah when I was only a boy. And even after she was lost, dead, and gone from the world, her memory burned in my mind. Until finally I began to hear her whispering, calling to me from the void. Telling her story of growing up in Dunwall Tower, and the half-sister who cheated her of her throne. Then she told me there was a way to bring her home, Delilah. I mean, how did he know her when he was a boy? Like, I mean, were they visiting Dunwall and they were a guest at the tower and that's how we knew her? I'm not sure. I mean, it's a, but I mean, that would mean that she was at the time presented to like you know, dignitaries from other isles as part of the royal family. And it's, I don't know, that's not what it sounds like when Delilah tells it, so. Yeah. But, I don't know, I mean, maybe they snuck in, being, you know, being the kids. This door is also blocked. In a circle is packed with the Duke's heads. Fine. All right, Armando, you stay there. Don't run off. Do not run off. Because I have a date with the elevator. Well, tell me I can get through there. Come on, Emily. Oh, we just need to. Oh. This is fine. <laughs> Is there a guard down here? Because Luca is always with guards. Armando is usually alone. Therefore, if I just did this and then put my little sword away, and then. Who would marry me? How was work today, darling? <laughs> did you have trouble pretending to be that clown? He does not look particularly worried when I'm just standing there. No offer to bow or kiss my hand. I could say the same. A mystery. Let's have it then. Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> Pay for your crimes. But no, not today. Listen, I think you're the Duke's body double. You can't have any love for the man. I'm here to end his rule, and I have an idea you should hear. All right, you've figured it out. But if you're not here to assassinate the Duke, what do you want? It occurs to me that you might make a more agreeable Duke than Luca Abel. <laughs> if I wanted to depose him without having to slit his throat, do you think you could convince people that you're the Duke? That's bold. I have to admit it's crossed my mind. If people believed that I was actually Duke Abel and that he was the political decoy, 
We could have him committed for lunacy. We could convince everyone that the Devil's finally lost his mind and believes he's the Duke. I've spent years perfecting my performance. But there's a catch. He's got a medallion that I need. Even if I sound convincing, which should be the easy part, his Grand Guard officers will ask to see the medallion as proof. Luca never puts it aside. All right. It shouldn't take me long. Once it's done, I'll be leaving the city. Soon after, I'll send instructions from Dunwall, and I'll expect a great deal of flexibility and cooperation on your part. There's still time to pull Sir Konos back from the edge of the cliff. We can undo the damage Duca Bell has inflicted. I'd like that. But I'll guide Sir Konos in the ways I see fit for the people here, not as the hand-chosen puppet of your empire. If you agree with that, just render the Duke unconscious and bring him to his chambers. I'll handle the rest. Sure. Don't raise an alarm. You've got to keep things calm for this to work. Honestly, if you would have killed Luca, the Grand Guard probably would have hung me anyway. Oh, well, good thing I didn't. There's so much that could be done from this palace. So many things that could be better. Mm -hmm. I never thought this would happen. It's exciting. But remember, to make this work, you've got to be stealthy. Get the Duke, bring him to his room, and be careful about it. Don't raise a ruckus. All right. Oh, let me just. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Nothing to pickpocket. Rude. All right, so here's a little something something um, that I'm not going to do yet. I'm going to have to be careful uh, about using that uh, before the situation is resolved because, you know, I don't want the entire palace full of guards on my butt. However, thanks for the carrots. Uh, however, oh, there she is. The Lila Copper Spoon. We do want to address the people of Karnaka, so that's what we shall do. Huh? Armando, it's just me. Don't worry about it. Duchess in green. There we go. Okay. Oh, we've got... Okay, so, you know, this is actually what the real Luca is painting. And then there's another quite lovely painting uh, down in the garden. Oh. Boop. I'll see if we can get to that. As he says, causing a ruckus. Alrighty. Okay, where is everything? Is there is anything upstairs? No, it's all downstairs. in the throne room. Gotcha. No, yeah, just running around in there. Come on. Could I interest you in a game of cards later? There she is. No. <laughs> That's your problem. better for everyone if you two are unconscious. Mm. 
I don't think anyone really comes up here. Guards and guests. There's a that there is a dude probably being menacing at a maid. How do you know it'll get to the group? Oh, okay. I just got Good. this assignment, but yesterday I heard the major talking about the Duke's political double. You don't worry about that. Besides, in the end, it's all the same. We serve the food, and the Duke decides who eats it. That's true everywhere. Bodies go in the shrubbery. Good morning, and hopefully no one else comes out here. Okay, we're grand, actually. Let's have a look over here. Enough to worry about without their constant complaining. Now, that wasn't me. Was not me. Poor maid. Just killed and dumped in the shrubs. There a third one? I don't think there was. Oh! Hey! What happened here? Nothing. I thought I saw someone right here. Let's check the place just in case. I wonder who that was. That was just me. Stay hidden forever. Oh my god, he actually goes on the prowl with them? No, I wonder what I'm sure. dealing with. Huh? <laughs> He's got like you know, just typical guard lines. Pretty sure of it. Okay, what if I just it looked like I don't know. But I saw something. Come on! I don't have time for games. Okay, what if he comes up here, and then I could just choke him out and take him with me? Oh. What? Okay, now you're both unconscious. opens the Duke's vault. Whoop. Okay. This might be the quickest run of this I've ever done. 
I mean, I'm still gonna like, you know, explore the house and stuff, but... Like... up to me. Us. I'll take the medallion and call them. A cigar you love a smoke, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry. I've spent years mimicking this asshole. Alright. I gotta hide. Captain Almeida, come at once to my chambers. There's a problem. Quick, hide up there. Oh, it. Right. Cutscene does it. Your Eminence, are you alright? Yes, yes, Captain. Please arrest this clown. Seems that he took his role a little too seriously. Get your hands off me. He served me well for years. We'll never find anyone else who so bears my resemblance. Take him away, Captain. But be gentle. I think I understand, Your Eminence. We'll handle it. What? This is outrageous. I'll have you all skinned alive and set in a salt bath. If only there was something we could do for him. I suppose all those years pretending he was me, that eventually took its toll. No, stop! I am the Duke of Sercurtis. You can't do this. Dr. Hypatia at Atomire will know what to do with the poor man. Oh, I bet she does. Hold on, just stand there in the rafters, Emily. to get my head around this. It's incredible. It'll be dicey for a while because I may be missing a few details. As quickly as I can, I'll turn over the palace guard. That will help cover me. Huh. Once you're off for Dunwall, I'll wait for your messages. I'll need all the help I can get turning this around. Okay. Well... Okay, so that's the main objective done, I guess. How long was that? Not even an hour. So. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. Okay, it just saved, which is good. Because uh, I'm going to go and do the thing with uh, the microphone and see whether that ends up with me getting sliced and diced, or whether because I'm buds with the Duke now, everything's cool. Because I don't want to have to, like, if I want to do this otherwise, I'm going to have to put every single guard in the place to sleep. I'm not sure if stun mines are going to be enough. Like, just putting them outside the door, though? Eh, might help. No. Let's see. People of Karnaka, this is your rightful ruler, Empress Emily Drexel Leela Caldwin. I came here to Karnaka, the Jewel of the South, with one purpose in mind. To set things right with the Duke of Sirkonos, Luca Abel, who has of late been deceived by the pretender to my throne, Delilah Copperspoon. Duke Abel and I are old friends, and at his heart, he is a loyal ally and servant to the Empire. I am your empress, but my father is Sir Conan, and your blood flows through my veins. I will leave you now and return to Dunwall, but know this. We have parlayed, and the Duke now understands the crisis in full. My hope is to restore my throne in Dunwall with haste. I bid you farewell, and ask you to maintain your faith and loyalty. I will address you again soon. Okay, no 
no one's coming to arrest me. Cool. Love that for me. Okay. I mean, I don't think that that means that every single guard in the place is suddenly going to be cool with me. So... We're still going to have to do the sneaky sneaky. But this is a weight of my mind. Also, where is the... Where are the windows to Delilah's quarters? Ah, oh, there's a piano in there. It's gotta be hers. If the old duke could only see this. Wasteful expense, wanton flesh. And such terrible wines. At least he knew better than to serve Tyrion with hagfish. Joke if you want to. Our new duke spends more in one month than his father spent in a year. Old Theodana Sabel was tight with the coin. Why worry? When the war is done, we'll have it back tenfold in tribute. This is the Sir Conan age, my friend. The age of Luca Abelli. Enjoy it. The old duke. The old duke was wise. Yes, the old duke was careful. But the new duke dragged the empress off her throne and gave us the isles. So tell me, who's the better man? Uh, what would you say to a day at the botanical gardens? I don't know. I guess I'd say go fuck yourself. <laughs> More. My feet, my neck. They're running me into an early grave. Don't want to scare her into running and fetching a guard, so gotta choke her out quickly. I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh. I remember sneaking out of my room, listening to my mother play for my father. Uh, you need something. Yeah, that's the line I was thinking of in the first episode. I may have cut that, so if you're confused, then ignore me. And I was like, wait, she had a, she had a, like, she had a line Who's about harps. Oh. Look, you just shush. Now that. How did you get that back? Oh no, that's a new one, isn't it? Yeah, I think the painting she used in the, uh, like, in the Brigma Witches DLC, I think that looked different. It had a different style. It was more flowy. Um, because you know, canonically, Thou took that and punted her into the wall, uh, into the void instead. And I'm pretty sure. But he didn't sell that. I don't think he needed the cash that badly. I can hear the bone charm slash rune through the wall. That's a bone charm, alright. It's in the bathroom, isn't it? Need more of those. You're fine. Good. Hmm. Oh, there's another maid, isn't there? Yep. Oh, can't 
inspect that one. Delilah's Diary. I painted the ocean today. The clever tide left messages in froth and detritus? 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 On the rocks. The waves use a secret language to synchronize their efforts. If I could learn to speak as the waves do, then I would have a powerful ally. Oh god, Delilah wants to be Aquaman. And why should I not learn the language of the ocean? Those years in the void changed my senses, and now I perceive things others cannot know. I have a strong desire to paint my niece Emily Caldwin bound to a burning pyre. I'd match the reds of the flame with her insufferable mouth, her spoiled, sullen pout. Maybe I will begin sketches soon, or maybe I'll grow bored with the notion. Luca continues to use Karnaka as his playground. I am pleased he is unrestrained by the petty restraints of society and so-called etiquette. I am only beginning to understand the ways I've changed. But my duke is the same as he ever was since he was a boy. Wonderful to be so carefree. If I could, I would move on. Uh, if I could, I would move on Donwell today. But there is no better moment than the anniversary of Jessamine's death. Our approach will be masked by the other visitors from across my empire. And there will be a certain symmetry that historians will no doubt find most satisfying between my sister's death and my own ascension. Yeah, it's great. Take less damage from falling, health generation rate is halved. Yeah. Don't need it. Bonk. Nothing in here, nothing up there. Okay, now we've collected that painting. Um Wondering where there might be more. We've got Dowd's painting. Not sure that we can collect the one in the garden. Maybe. I'll have a look. Aha, he does move. Oh, here's another door. Where's the oh right? My controller is doing steady bombs. Is this a Duke's quarters then? Oh, it's his office. No sense. Anyway, I'm not the one for the kissing. <laughs> Always with the kissing. Taste it off. That one, no blue jawed hagfish. Okay, River don't look up, buddy. Likely. Okay, at least he doesn't care that the oh, door is open. So, right, my 
controller was doing bump, 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 and I was like, wait, it's not that hard. But no, when it, when it just doesn't vibrate, that's the steps of the clockwork soldier. When it plays, check central rotor. Either downstairs or on the same level. And there are two, I believe, on the level below. Lovely. Oh, I wonder. I think I'm just gonna. Because I'm not sure if it's gonna. Oh, yeah, I've gotta break that. Okay. There's a stun mine in the cabinet. This is fine. So we're just gonna. Set that there. And it's not Yeah, well, end of sleep phase, there it goes. Give me that plaque, thank you. Oh, oh god, I didn't even close the door. Grumble, honestly. Oh, right, that's another painting. There she goes. Well, it's a miracle that that guy's not seeing me. Shipment of wear all takes just gone, huh. taken right from under their noses. Idiots. All right, there you go. Hmm, might have to be careful about smashing that. Tell you what, oh, let's try and just get that guy again. Then we can smashy smashy to our heart's content. I am unsure about this man. Unlocked a new kind of guard because you know we've just got you know standard guards and then we had elite guards and now we also know veterans. Well, the new duke said not to cause a ruckus or otherwise I'd be giving you some work to do. Oh, oh shitting. Close that and hide in here. Oh, there's a dried blood fly husk. I gotta get that. I did not anticipate everyone getting angry at that one. here <gasps> oh god question is can you open doors oh sh ting bombs it sure can I forgot that this thing can <laughs> see out the back of its arse. Okay. Fine. Let's pop one down. 
because now we know that it's gonna come out here. <laughs> I love how it just busts open the door like somebody who were a fucking legend. <sighs> yeah, all right, Princess Knuckle Duster. I'll tell you what. Much better. Much better. See? Work smarter, not harder. Auntie Grumble knows. Alright, come on, bud. Yeah, look, if it feels so wrong, then why don't you just... You know, trudge out here. And a lovely little line. Is your friend not gonna join us? Come on, bud. Come on. Come over here. And I can domino you, and things are so much easier. Come on. Found anything yet? Not gonna. So, let's see. What was it? Come on, come out here. You know you want to. Come on. Yep. Good deduction. Think you're smart? I'll find you. Bad. Smarter than you. Well, you haven't yet. I should have taken a bottle with me, to be fair. Oh, that was a door. I think he left. Also, is it just me, or is the sound kind of... muted? At least some of the, like, sound effects sound a bit muted for me right now. on the floor. No? I think he just... trundled off? of the game to reimburse me for those stun mines right away. I really appreciate that. Yep, you you watch your own back, buddy. Okay, you're both fine. Buddy. Better no one come in when I'm listening to this. Oh. Thanks for the auto save game. Oh, didn't someone here have the safe combination for the guard station downstairs? Why is it always only the chapter four introduction that you find? There we go. Oh, nine five. Gotcha. All right. Nobody come in. I'm busy. Kieran, sir, we were confused by your most recent response. The Duke was well. He was furious. He sent me to interview you about your progress. One of the maids took me for a walk. We dug beetles in the park with shiny green shells. I don't understand, Mr. Jindosh. Working with Anton Sokolov, were you successful at lowering the cost of clockwork soldier production? The Duke is expecting a reduction of 80 to 90 percent, based on your own estimates. She let me keep a few of them in a jar I 
pulled off their legs. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Let me remind you, as Grand Inventor, you've been given everything you requested. But with that comes a responsibility for deadlines. An expectation of progress? Wait, I remember the undertaking you're talking about now. Yes, yes. Excellent. So what can I tell the Duke? I had a visitor, I think. Or maybe they came for Sokolov. It's hard to recall the details. Anton wouldn't help, but I was close to finding a way to... The, the difference engine is inscribed in copper along the concave surface of the inner head mechanism. But wait. I can't. It, it slips away. The beetles we found today, I'm going to give them all names. This is useless. What am I going to tell Duke Luca? I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Well, let's scathingly say his name. Whoop. Duke Luca Abel. Oh, not anymore. Only his doable, anyway. Alright. So, those stairs lead back up to his quarters, which is, which is fine. <laughs> I'm loving the autosaves just by, like, passing through that room. up here. Yeah, that's where they put the duke and knocked him out. Okay, buddy, are you gonna keep your back turned, or...? I ain't fucking I've got an auto save. You see, the steps are muted. Right? Like, I should- I should be hearing the footsteps. Hold on a wee second. I'm just gonna... It's gonna give us a save. Go back to the main menu and see if that fixes it. It happens sometimes where you don't get like element pickup on the sound proper, but that was weird. Maybe just a reload will fix it, otherwise, I'm gonna have to quit out of the game entirely. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> they just threw him down in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <gasps> petition project. Dear Armando, I loved your idea for a petition, so I wrote it up at once. Of course, the Gra Palace Grand Guard refused to take it. So it seems that, as Luca's political decoy, you're the only one who might be able to bring it to the Duke's attention. This is asking a lot from you, but if it succeeds, the petition could make a tremendous difference in Karnaka. Here's the letter. Duke Luca Abel, as you know, the silver mines have been pressed beyond capacity, resulting in constant danger for the miners and completely contaminating the surrounding district. Eh, la, 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 la. A possible solution? Preparing a petition asking the wealthy individual who profits, no, the individuals who profit from the silver trade to accept a 20% tax on silver that would be applied to improving the lives of the miners and their families. 
Eventually, the increased silver prices will also reduce the demand on the mines, slowing the dust falling on the Batista district. I would be grateful if you would agree to be the first signatory on my upcoming petition. With high hopes, Lucia Pastor, Shindere Peak Miners Family Committee. So this is how Lucia Pastor knew to give us um, that tip. Money! Alright. Is there a silver graph thing in the bathroom? Like right next to the giant bathtub? <sighs> That's one of those things that Grumble does not want the answer to. And yet she asked. You don't mind, do you? I'm starving. Alrighty. So, usually, I make my way upstairs from the lower levels, but this actually worked pretty well. There's another clockwork soldier on the other side. Like on the upper level of the dining room. <clears throat> Excuse me. It feels like we're living in an age of wonders. No mm -hmm. plague, no war, no taxes. We've been machines, playing every day ideas. for weeks now. Wait, did he say no plague, no war, no taxes? There's a war on, buddy. Well, if he's trying to pull off some witchcraft love trick, he's doing it wrong. And I can't feel my fingertips anymore. <laughs> That's why you don't get invited to half the parties I attend. Such gloomy thoughts. Okay, everyone's kind of talking over each other, but um, those two musicians, they're tasked with, you know, playing for the statue. Um, I can't remember. Is there a note, like, by the statue or something? But, like, there's definitely a note somewhere. Uh, wherein Duca has a pretty, like, sleazy oh, it's not something bad. fantasy yeah, maybe it's nothing. concerning that statue, and it's creepy AF. We'll be leaving these people alone.
Oh, he went back in there. Okay. That's like, what? Oh, I was about to move. Okay, before they get too far away from each other. Ah, shit. Still up. <laughs> That's what happens when they get too far away from each other. Take these two up here because I do not want the rats to eat them. Oops. Okay. Do I have a stun mine? I've got three. Good, good. I'll need him. Right. I'm being economical with the powers today. Like, there was one time when I played this where I just clean ran out of, uh, ran out of Erdemeyer's solution, so I had to, I could basically, like, I could far reach once, and that was it. So, with Far Reach and Dark Vision, I had to be really careful. Let's eat all that bread. Okay, where is the dang switch for this thing? There. Duke Bell keeps hidden away in here. This is still the antechamber. Uh -huh. And then we will cheese that dude. Has increased now that something I will not mind. The Lila Copper Spoon. Yes, yeah, so like you said. All right, let's go swimming. for a second because I do not remember where that room is. Eh, let me... No. Hold on. Let me lock that, please. Thank you. Put your stuff away. This must be the Duke's vault. It sure is. Oh, just past me. 
that's lovely. Alright, uh, all we're gonna do is wait. Oh, copper wire. Because <sighs> what goes around comes around. There it goes. Stomping away. I mean, that, that can't be good for the stone, right? That clanker going along? Oh. Okay, let's go back a little bit because I do not want it to see me now. There will be no exploration for you. Can I pick up that plaque? I really want to. Boffed. Where'd it go? Aha. Uh -huh. Alrighty. This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit. Yes, it is. And we're gonna touch it last. Oh, don't even hit it. First, we are going to steal shit. Because, let's face it, that's what we're really here for. Well, a broken gazelle ornament, eh? It's a decorative animal. Some grudges run deep, don't they? Oh. Ah, there's the other way out. But that, that leads to another clockwork soldier. So let's not right now. Is that it up here? Looks like it. Okay. Well then. We're gonna have to do a thing. Wanted. I stayed as long as I could, trying to guide you. The world is better for your influence. Be at peace, Mother. I will honor you, always. Oh. I love you. And this is the final thought I carry into the day. So it's done. Now to take the last soul back to the Is the heart of my half sister? Only the flesh remains. I wonder if it was even really alive. Okay, well, I mean, at least our dear aunt still shows us the remaining stuff, so, you know, it's not a total loss. Jasmine is gone at last, faded into nothing. Her war is peace. You will never gain back what you lost here. Well, no, that was my mom's spirit, so thanks for that, by the way. I'm your only family. I inhabit two impossible places at once. A prison of dead flesh, 
after a prison of bones. You will take me back and die at my hands. Oh, shant. All right, so we collected that rune. Oh, they also have the map. It's so pretty. Right, so there's one right on top of us, which I believe is in that room where they're playing cards. Which is a little difficult to get into when you're not in the mood to, uh, to murder a bunch of people. further down. Yeah. There's no like, there's no overhead windows or anything. It's really inconvenient. Have to go one further down. Where were these? Just gone. Take it right from under their noses. Maybe if I idiots. Wait, let's go back upstairs. That will be easier. A bunch. <laughs> Emily, are you okay? Uh. Okay, look, you people saw nothing. I'm just gonna hope. Sometimes there's guards that come in here. Okay. You two are asleep. Good for you. Is the person dead? Oh, I think that's the one I propped up there. Sounded one cabinet. Okay, I'm not not eating those eels. Thank you. 
I have standards. <gasps> Sleep darts. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Note for captain. Something, something. Give me. Give me that. Thank you. There is also a little orgy room where uh, I can find some more sleep darts. I was trying to get there. Why? Oh, that's a torture chair, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Whatever, let's. Was it zero nine five? I think. Let's just try. Now give me that. Thank you. Okay. Two more one charms. And I gotta pee. All right, I'm back. Had a wee. <clears throat> Helped a friend with some Discord server setup. Just be choking him out. That is bad news, Baz. Alright. That, however, is the throne room. I'm active in the throne room. Is an arc pylon. Which also bad news, Baz. So. Here's the thing we're gonna do. There's a veteran guard in there. Oh. Pull open this door. I'm in the window something. Oh. Are you gonna come check it out or not? Do not want to eat the body. Oh, fine. Question is. What the thing? You can tell he's no good just by looking at his shoes. Yes, sir. Now the question is, can I get close enough over there? getting fried by that thing? <sighs> Answer is no. If we just... link her... Please look that way. 
Thank you. Okay. So that's him unconscious, and then maybe if I just stay. Super far edge of this room. Oh. All right. Don't need pistol shot. Oh, sir. Whatever it is you wanted, I guess, didn't happen. Sorry, ma'am. Uh, that opens to the pool. No one cares about the pool. Okay, one more flippin' bone charm. That cuts right through the dining room, so that's out. <laughs> so, how exactly does one? my head. Can I walk around here? Yes, I can. Okay. There's another clockwork soldier. Just gonna ignore that. Yes. Why would he say that? Makes no sense. So there's you, and you've got a friend, don't you? Both horribly inconvenient. Don't want to waste sleep birds on them. Hold on. Ah, it's not letting me. Okay, ma'am. I should hire my own bodyguard. I don't feel safe anymore. Question is, can I get an interview like this? And it's just been one gala after another, and the season's just getting started. <sighs> yes, I am so sorry that your social calendar and your social circuit are just so it's impossible to get busy. good help these days sometimes i think i'll just do it myself sure and again i have such a twingy back buddy do you want to hear about my back and i don't even work retail I am luckier than most. And my back is already killing me. Honey? Oh. oh, 
Oh, he's asleep. Okay. <laughs> I was like, how are you not flipping your shit right now? Oh, close enough. See you in there. Well, they're all having a good time. Because here's the thing the rich and famous. Well, she might already be dead, actually. Rich and famous use uh... oh. Thank you, finally. You sleep dart found him uh, to get a high. Yeah, she did. Cause you know, rich people. That's why there's usually some lying around here on the beds. Oh. Well. You deserve it. Yeah, and she overdosed. Yeah. Here they are. Oh good, and a syringe too. Okay. Oh, I don't need to even. Okay, I don't even need to disturb the card players. That's good. Alrighty, so. How about we just. Any more money around here? I mean, they have some cash on them, but. We don't need it that badly, and they're annoying, so... Alright, checking stats, just to make sure we haven't killed anyone. No, we have not. Now all that remains is getting past... That stupid thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could shoot its head off, but it's gonna kill our guard. <laughs> so. Whee! Good thing it can't see up. Alright. Here I am, Megan. There. Now to wait. meter halfway stuff no just rain bye everybody it's been fun Boop. oh sit there, sit. all right sit talk so is that it the fall of Karnaka. From now on, the Duke will be guided by better stars. Back to the dreadful whale, then, and on toward Dunwall. Yes, at long last, to take back the throne and find a way to save my father. Ready, then? Take me back to the ship. I'll yeah. As you want. Let's go before the skiff sinks. <laughs> ah, lovely, lovely. Okay. Ooh, looking good on the stuff. Through the pantry. <laughs> Enter Duke Lucas, Luca Bell's vault through the secret pantry passage, sunken storage, swim into the submerged storage room beneath the palace grounds. Friends in high places, replace Duke Luca Bell with his buddy double. Haunted by the past, remove the broken gazelle from Duke Luca Bell's vault. 
Uh, yes, we tricked the black market shopkeeper into opening the back door, and we addressed Karnaka. Well, I dare say. Oh my, oh my, that was that. We've done away with Luca the non-lethal way, and now we have someone in place on the throne who actually gives a shit about the people of Karnaka. And that was the second to last episode of Grumble Place Dishonored 2. Thank you so much for watching, whether you're uh, on the mesmerized tier, so you're watching this a uh, week ahead of everyone else, or whether you're watching the premiere when this goes live for everybody, or whether you're watching this at some point in the grand old future. Please leave a like and a comment on your way out if you enjoyed this episode. It's really much appreciated. Um, if you know if you're not subscribed to the channel yet go do that now hit the bell icon uh, to be notified when the next episode of this goes up um, or any let's play series meta lore videos reviews analysis whatever in the future i post gaming content pretty much every week if you want to support this channel then you can find me at patreon at patreon.com forward slash anima rabella or on ko-fi at ko-fi.com forward slash grumble both those places have membership tiers and coffee is also just my general tip jar if you want to kick me a buck for making these videos hit me up on twitter to find out uh what the next series is going to be um and just to chat video games i post a lot of stuff there um about games about my writing um on that thought actually uh there's a link to my discord server in the description box below I'm very much looking forward uh, to the next one. Um, as you know, I'm going to be recording it a little bit ahead of when the episode actually goes live, but I'm really looking forward uh, to y'all seeing the conclusion to this Let's Play series. And of course, the conclusion to this absolutely stunning game. That's all for me this week. Thank you so much again for watching. Have a lovely day and see you next week. Bye. Thank you.